In this week's Pass the PE Exam video, I'm gonna tell you a story about a colleague of mine who listened to other people who told him not to pursue the PE license and how it was extremely detrimental to his career. This week's Pass the PE Exam video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in helping engineers pass the licensing exams, both the FE and PE exam since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the PE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for PE exam prep. Let's dive in. I hear from a lot of engineers who tell me, well, I'm not really going to go into an engineering discipline where I need to get my license. I'm not going to be a design engineer. I'm going to go into chemical engineering when some people say chemical engineers don't need their license. Or I'm going to go into the construction industry and I don't really need my license. Well, I want to share with you a story of a colleague of mine who I graduated college with. He wanted to go into construction. And so he listened to people who told him, ah, you don't need a PE license in construction. You're not going to be signing or sealing design plans. You only need your license if you're actually going to do engineering design. So he listened to them. He was young. Why wouldn't he listen to them, right? They were more experienced. They were older than him. And what happened was he got into his career as a civil engineer in construction. And all of a sudden, the economy took a big hit. Construction slowed down. And he had to look for other jobs. And he had to look for other jobs ultimately in design. And so he got a job with a design consulting firm. Luckily, he got it because he, you know, he hadn't pursued the FE exam because he wasn't going to get his PE license. And a company did take him on board. And he was able to then talk to people and learn about why he really should have started the licensing process right away. And then he was able to catch up. But it did cost him a couple of years. So the reason I want to share this story with you is because it can't hurt you to go out and try to get your PE license. Take the FE exam in college or as soon as you can when you graduate and then stay on path to take the PE exam at the earliest possible time because you don't know where your career is going to go. A lot of different things can happen. You can switch it up in the industry and you might want to go into a different discipline of engineering. What if you ultimately one day decide to go out on your own and do some consulting or even open up your own engineering company? you may need a license to do that. In fact, many states will not allow you to start an engineering business without an engineering license. So I know the PE licensure process can be daunting. You have to take two very long exams. You have to get experience. You have to get sign-offs from people. I get all that. But when you have this license, it's extremely powerful for you and it opens up a lot of doors. So don't listen to people that tell you that you don't need it. Because if you get it and you don't use it, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you don't get it and then you need it, it could be very detrimental to your career growth as an engineer. I hope you found this video helpful. Past the PE exam videos will publish weekly, so please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can get tips, tricks, and strategies for passing the PE exam and taking your engineering career to that next level. And please, I urge you to leave comments and questions below this video and I will answer them for you. Maybe there is a specific topic you'd like me to cover or a question that you need answered. Pass the PE exam, we'll have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the PE exam.